Dale, Cordy Despis, Director of Education with Trout's Fly Fishing. And in this installment of Trout's Tips, we're gonna work on the blood knot. This knot's fantastic to connect tippet to leader or tippet to tippet. Although a tad bit more complicated, some would say that it's stronger than your double and your triple surgeons. So as we move through this blood knot, I'm gonna have two different colors of paracord in my hands. In my left hand, we're gonna have black paracord. This is gonna represent our tapered leader. In my right hand, we're gonna have turkey, turquoise, not turkey, but turquoise paracord, and that's gonna represent my tippet. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to just match these two across each other. As I often tell people, when you're first learning knots, don't be stingy on the amount of tippet and leader you use. Make it easier on yourself. Give yourself a little more to work with. It just helps with your dexterity and kind of your muscle memory as you're learning. After you cross your two pieces, I always start with my right side. The key here is when we go to wrap these pieces, we're gonna wrap them and then feed them through the internal center loop in opposite directions. So as I move my black paracord, I'm gonna bring it towards myself three times. When you're working with true material, you may be able to wrap a bit more, but just because of the diameter and thickness of paracord, I'm gonna be a tad bit limited today in what I can actually wrap. After I wrap, you notice that I was wrapping this towards me and then away, and then I'm gonna bring it through the center in the same direction I wrapped. As I move on to my tippet now, I'm gonna actually wrap in the opposite direction. So instead of going towards me in my wrap, I'm gonna actually go away. And then I'm gonna bring my tag in and I'm gonna go the opposite way through my center hole. Prior to seating my knot, now that I have my two tag ins sticking out opposite ways, when I'm on my leader and my tippet material, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lubricate all sections of the area that are gonna be tensioned or pulled and tight or may have create friction in order to limit any further weakening of my material and possible knot breakage later on. Once I've done that, I'm gonna pull equally from both sides, allowing my knot to seat. The key in the blood knot once it's stacked is that your opposite ends are going directly above and below each other or opposite ways, regardless of what way you're holding it. If when you finish your knot, each end is coming out in opposite direction and you're well stacked, you know that you've done this knot correctly. If for any reason both these sections are coming out the same side or at the same angle, you didn't quite do it correctly, you probably um, confused your wraps, and I would suggest cutting it and doing it over. Thanks for joining us for this installment of Trout's Tips. For additional parts of this series, visit our Trout's YouTube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe.